All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So today we're going to do a quick look at a, a couple of features on iOS 16 that I like. So the first one I'm going to start with is the battery percentage. Now, we all know that the battery percentage is horribly placed before you couldn't see it. Uh, but this is pretty simple. You just go down to battery percentage, turn it on and off, uh, and it appears inside the battery there. So this is showing at 84%. Uh, and let me go ahead and plug it up and show you what happens. Let's see here. This is what happens when it's plugged in. You can see that is how it looks. It turns green and the battery percentage still goes into the the uh, battery inside the battery. Then now some people really don't like this. Um, I had this phone for almost a year and it's 90% still. Um, some people don't like that, but I, I don't personally care. At least I can see my battery percentage now. And that's really all that matters to me. So when it's plugged in, it's green. And when it is not plugged in, it is black. So uh, another thing I noticed was under notifications. Now this might've been here before, but I don't know. So you can schedule now, uh, you can see how the, the notifications I have here coming in that I want to um, schedule me during the time. Uh, so you can see that that might be something that's already been there, but I didn't notice it before. Uh, now obviously the main thing is the wallpapers and lock screen. So when you first start this up, uh, you wanna come in here, I actually already have one set. so. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's unlock it. And this is a wallpaper that I created. And I created three different wallpapers already. Uh, but we'll go ahead and create uh, another one. So this was the default one that I started with. I, I just chose this one to kind of play around with it. And then I decided to go ahead and do this one. Uh, and then this one is tracks your location. So let's go ahead and add another one. And this is what it looks like when you come in to add uh, your, um, your new lock screens there's tons of selections here that you can do i mean there's a, a boatload of them you you just have to choose what you want to do for your lock screen there's so many uh I, i'm saying it's a lot but you know first for you to change this every day there is a lot <laughs> i don't know that you'd want to but uh my one of my favorites over here is this one right here this has got to be one of the coolest that they've ever created uh so if you have a green iphone this is going to look really cool um so let's we can add things in here now you're limited on the widgets you can put in here you're limited to what's in this list to go in this little section here so you can select add widget and you go here i just added the date and time and the calendar then i can add some weather uh, and then i can add some battery and that is pretty much all that i think you can fit in there because if you try to put something else it's going to tell you um to you know you can't do it see you must remove a widget to add the city. See, that, that's the way it works. So this is what you're limited to on this particular screen right here. Now let me go to this right here. You can see depth effect. You can have that. And then uh, that's it, man. So you, you go in here. Let me see here. You can change all your font the way you want it to look. All these different things here. You can change the colors. Um, it's, it, it's very extensive and you can go in and just do all kinds of stuff here but it's up to you to determine how you want to do your font uh, or the way your numbers and everything look i think it's pretty cool I like the hollow look right there uh, but the default is here so it's up to you again to determine how you want to do your numbers on your screen but i think it's pretty cool that they've got they've given some form of customization now uh to the to the iphone because it it needed something new i mean it was getting kind of old uh, you know, with the same old thing here. Uh, so that's just what it is. You need to be able to customize this as much as possible. Uh, so again, you can change, these are the suggested widgets. You can change it to any of these up here. Uh, and then uh, you're limited to just these, but you still have some functionality now with your lock screen. So let's go in here and remove this one. And let's see what we can put something. Let's put uh, fitness. You can put the fitness in there and there you go. So, I mean, while you do, let's, let's also check this news too. Yeah, so you can do the news. That would be pretty cool, but it's up to you to put what you want in there. But I suggest that you play around with this and you find out what you want to put in there. And then this is the lock screen. Then when you hit add, uh, it'll ask you, do you want to set as a wallpaper pair or customize the screen? You can just hit set, boom, done. And then now when I go into the phone, that is my wallpaper too. So there's a lot of different wallpaper setups that you could possibly do. 
uh, oops, didn't want to do that. Um, you, just long, you can long press this way and get in here and you can see all the ones I've created so far. This was the one I had before I went to iOS 16. Uh, but I started with that one, played around with it, created this location one, and then you know you you can just keep adding them. It looks like I don't know how many you can actually add, uh, but this is pretty cool. So it's up to you to determine how you want to set up your um, your lock screen. But I like that they give you some options now, and it's pretty pretty simple to do as you can see. So this is your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty nice that they finally got something going on with iOS now. This even be considered entertaining at all <laughs> so uh yeah i know some people are going to wonder about the battery percentage so i wanted to show you that but other than that folks that's all i have for today i hope you guys enjoyed ios 16 there's more to learn about this device so you leave in the comments some tips and tricks for me see you in the next one take care